<laughs> hey, hey, what's going on, fight fans? This is Sean with Boxing Socialist and Other Sports. Um, here with two good guests today. Uh, we got my man, uh, former champion Reggie Sweet Johnson, and from out of Houston, Texas. And of course, we got T Diddy, uh, Houston heavyweight. Uh, guys, I'm, I'm glad to have two boxers on here to give give us uh, your experience and, and, and talk to me a little bit about the current state of boxing right now. How y'all guys doing today? Oh, we're doing real good. We're doing real good. We're blessed to be here. We're safe. We never caught COVID-19, so yeah. we're good. We're healthy. We just came from working out. Me and Reg, we just got out, did us a couple miles today. Oh, that's what's we up. Some, yeah, yeah, on a Sunday. In case your listeners get this late, it's Sunday. All right, all right. Well, listen, we're going to jump into about four or five, six questions here. Before we do that, let me break you off with a little intro video real quick. Your boy, hey. the brother, yeah. Uh, you, yeah. <laughs> you, you see, I had some heavyweights in there. So, uh, hey, Reggie, let's let's start off with, with uh, you, man. So, uh, I got you. Yeah, listen, 44 wins, seven losses, one draw, 25 knockouts. Listen, out of those seven losses, Reggie, you've never been stopped. Um, how important was that for you to show, listen, even though I have some losses, you ain't knocking me out. Like, people don't realize how good of a chin you have. And let's be honest, nobody wants to get hit or, and, and, you know, hit with any shots. But just the mere fact that you got some guys um, that can hit but can't take a shot. Uh, what do you pride yourself on as far as being a um, former three-time champion? Well, you know, you can have a chin uh, and get hit. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, you can uh, have a chin to get knocked down. You're still being yeah. hit. I think that the, the main thing that, that really stands out, uh, and I can only speak for what I've experienced, I've, I've been knocked down uh, probably four or five times, and the only, only right. fight I didn't get up and win was the Roy Jones fight. Uh, but you did get up. Oh, yeah, but I did get up. That's what I'm, I mean, that's, that's my point in case, you know. You know, if you get knocked down uh, four times, you get up five. If you get knocked down five times, you get up six. That meaning that you're, you know, you, you're built that way. It's just part of who you are. Uh, right. To fight, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, and uh, they got, this is another thing I let everybody know. They got some great fighters who uh, didn't have good chins, but they were so good with technology. Uh, the science right. of bo uh, boxing, they went on to become world champions and uh, defend world titles as well. Right. And, and, and Reggie, like you said, there, there's only one that you didn't get back up and win. With that being said, in the late, uh, let me see, no, not late 90s, in the 2000s, were you impressed um, seeing the likes of people like Arturio Gotti that could get dropped, hurt, and he can turn things around with one punch? Well, you know that, that, that's a tough question. Let me let me let, let me explain to you why I say that's a tough question to ask me myself. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, me coming up being around old school trainers, uh, the the late Manuel Chato Robles, the late uh, uh -huh. uh, uh, God, what's my man? This is my chief trainer. I work with a uh, uh, a lot of great old school trainers. Uh, right. Curtis Coach when I turned pro yeah. at seventeen. Uh, the people signed him to train me. I learned a lot from him. Uh, right. The future Hall of Famer who should already be in the Hall of Fame, Jesse Reed, I learned a lot from him. And like right. I said, right. um, uh, my chief trainer, Manuel Chato Robles, the late Manuel Chato Robles. Yeah. And you know you know him, his son trained Ruiz uh, mm -hmm. to become the first Mexican-American heavyweight champion. Right, right, uh, right. You know, those, 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 those you know, the way I was, the way I was taught is, was to, the, like Mayweather said, the name of the game is to hit, but not get hit. But knowing right. that eventually you're going to get hit, yeah. and you got to be prepared for when you do get hit. 
Right. So that's a, that's a tough question to ask me. I, I, I'm okay. always, even when I got a guy hurt and, I, and, I, and I'm uh, putting on the heat on him, I'm yeah. still thinking about getting hit. Right, right. And, or and the possibility of getting hit. I, I'm thinking about getting out of the way, out of the way of being hit. 